Can animals paint? By Josephine Parks. Can animals paint? Let's take a look. Can a dog paint? A dog can carry a ball to the park, but a dog can't paint. Can a bird paint? A bird can sing a nice song, but a bird can't paint. Can this big animal paint? Yes, this big animal can paint. A man gives the animal some paper. The animal paints with a brush and its trunk. Painting is a job for these big animals. People give money to buy the paintings. The people who help the animals can buy paint and other things with the money. Would you like to buy a painting like this one? You could hang it on your wall. Can animals paint? By Josephine Parks. Can animals paint? Let's take a look. Can a dog paint? A dog can carry a ball to the park, but a dog can't paint. Can a bird paint? A bird can sing a nice song, but a bird can't paint. Can this big animal paint? Yes, this big animal can paint. A man gives the animal some paper. The animal paints with a brush and its trunk. Painting is a job for these big animals. People give money to buy the paintings. The people who help the animals can buy paint and other things with the money. Would you like to buy a painting like this one? You could hang it on your wall. Sand Surprise, by Jack Lewis, illustrated by Luke Juravicious and Toby Quarmby. Our family went to the shore for the day. We played and went swimming in the water. We started digging in the sand. We made a mouse. There were some sticks on the sand. We used them for the mouse's whiskers. The three of us put shells and other things all over the sand mouse. It looked very pretty. We made a moat by the sand mouse. The water came up and filled the moat. The sand mouse looked as if it were swimming. Some people came over to us. It will be a surprise when we show them our sand mouse. I said. We like your sand toad. They said. The water had come all the way up over the sand mouse. Some of the sand and sticks had come off. It was a toad. What a surprise! I said, "Our mouse has turned into a toad." Sand surprise, by Jack Lewis, illustrated by Luke Juravicious. And Toby Quarmby. Our family went to the shore for the day. We played and went swimming in the water. We started digging in the sand. We made a mouse. There were some sticks on the sand. We used them for the mouse's whiskers. The three of us put shells and other things all over the sand mouse. 
It looked very pretty. We made a moat by the sand mouse. The water came up and filled the moat. The sand mouse looked as if it were swimming. Some people came over to us. It will be a surprise when we show them our sand mouse, I said. We like your sand toad, they said. The water had come all the way up over the sand mouse. Some of the sand and sticks had come off. It was a toad. What a surprise, I said. Our mouse has turned into a toad. An Insect Tale by Ryan Hensley Illustrated by Stuart Billington Stick Insect was eating some good food. Drip, drip, trickle, trickle. Stick Insect saw a puddle. The puddle got bigger. Oh no, yelled Stick Insect. The world will soon be underwater. I must hurry and tell Beetle. Stick Insect rapped on Beetle's door. The world will soon be underwater, he told Beetle. Beetle stopped eating. Oh dear, said Beetle. I must tell Ant. Ant was eating. The world will soon be underwater, called Beetle. We should fly up in the sky. Ant stopped eating. I can't fly, said Ant. Ant's mother came out. Follow me, she said. Mother Ant showed them a dripping watering can. A man is tipping the watering can, said Mother Ant. Just then, the water stopped falling. See, said Mother Ant, the world will not be underwater now. Thank you, said Stick Insect, Beetle, and Ant. Now let's all go back to eating. An Insect Tale by Ryan Hensley Illustrated by Stuart Billington Stick Insect was eating some good food. Drip, drip, trickle, trickle. Stick Insect saw a puddle. The puddle got bigger. Oh no, yelled Stick Insect. The world will soon be underwater. I must hurry and tell Beetle. Stick Insect rapped on Beetle's door. The world will soon be underwater, he told Beetle. Beetle stopped eating. Oh dear, said Beetle. I must tell Ant. Ant was eating. The world will soon be underwater, called Beetle. We should fly up in the sky. Ant stopped eating. I can't fly, said Ant. Ant's mother came out. Follow me, she said. Mother Ant showed them a dripping watering can. A man is tipping the watering can, said Mother Ant. Just then, the water stopped falling. See, said Mother Ant, the world will not be underwater now. Thank you, said Stick Insect, Beetle, and Ant. Now let's all go back to eating. In the Snow 
by Penny Lee Forrest. This place has a lot of snow. People who live here need to keep warm and dry. A long time ago, some people made their houses out of snow and ice. The ice kept the cool air out. It also kept the warm air in. The people fished. They cut holes in the ice. Then they waited for the fish to come. The people used dog sleds to move across the snow. This sled has four dogs pulling it. Today, people still live in warm houses, but they are not made of snow. The people still like to fish. Some use ways of fishing that were used long ago. Today, it is easy for people to get across the snow. It is fun to live in the snow. In the Snow by Penny Lee Forrest This place has a lot of snow. People who live here need to keep warm and dry. A long time ago, some people made their houses out of snow and ice. The ice kept the cool air out. It also kept the warm air in. The people fished. They cut holes in the ice. Then they waited for the fish to come. The people used dog sleds to move across the snow. This sled has four dogs pulling it. Today, people still live in warm houses, but they are not made of snow. The people still like to fish. Some use ways of fishing that were used long ago. Today, it is easy for people to get across the snow. It is fun to live in the snow.